Roy, Barry, this is your life. <laughs> Sit yourself down, Roy. Well done, Rosie. Shit time is <laughs> over. You can't get the pissing staff, can you? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight. Sorry, sorry, Rosie. Sorry. Never interrupt a woman. Anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Roy Barry. Yes. Roy Barry, this is your life. This is a story of sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> He's had none of them. <laughs> Roy Barry, you were born the 19th September 1942 in Edinburgh. Your mother was disappointed. She wanted a boy. <laughs> I'm going to be laughed at. I'm an Irish comedian. <laughs> Roy, you were born through a caesarean section, which probably explains why you get in and out of the car through the sunroof. <laughs> we did some research in Roy, and you're quarter Irish, quarter Scottish, half wit. Half <laughs> <laughs> movies before, they still laugh. Roy, you were one of 18. Your father didn't know whether to stick or twist. 18 kids, they didn't have a babysitter. They had a shepherd. It was terrible. And they were all bedwetters, weren't they, Roy? In your family. Your mum said, do you want to go to bed? Roy said, yes. What end do you want to sleep in? I said, please, mum, can I sleep in this shallow end? <laughs> but you were the Edinburgh breast, breaststroke champion at six years of age. Roy? You played with your brothers and the little toy soldiers. Do you remember those good old days in Edinburgh? The little toy soldiers, his brothers would play with the sergeants and the colonels. He would sit in the carpet and play with his privates. Yes. Now, Roy, uh, your, your mum picked some unusual name for your brothers. Straw Barry. Piss off, what do you expect for 20 quid? Raspberry. And then she had an affair with a West Indian docker in Leith and called that son Blackberry. <laughs> He's world famous, he makes phones now. Oh. Roy, you went to school and your mother and dad went up to parents night and the teacher said, Roy's in a class of his own. He said, is he clever? He said, no, he stinks. <laughs> but Roy, we found your exam papers. What school did you go to, your secondary school, Roy? I can't remember. Correct. <laughs> I've just found his uh, exam paper, ladies and gentlemen. He missed the selection for two years. God love him. <laughs> Question one, Roy. Here we go. Where is the Aries C? Roy's answer between the Aries B and the Aries D. <laughs> Where is the Aries channel? Question two. He said two buttons below BBC Two. <laughs> Question three, Mr. Barrett. <laughs> Where did Anne Boleyn get beheaded? Just above her chin. <laughs> Question four. What is the capital of Chile? Con Carney. <laughs> Question five, Mr. Barry. If you had five pounds in your jacket pocket and seven pounds in your trouser pocket, what would you have someone else's suit on? <laughs> and finally, Roy, your last question. General Nolute, what is a shit suit? We all know it's a dog. Him? Is it a zoo with no animals, miss? <laughs> but Roy, your parents were very cruel to you. Everybody say, ah. Oh. Your mum used to beat you over the head with a camera. He still gets flashbacks. <laughs> your dad used to beat you over the head with a telephone. It's not nice being on the receiving end. Now, Roy, at the age of 15, you fell over off your bicycle and broke your neck. But since that day, he's never looked back. <laughs> You got your first job in Poundland, Roy. You got the sack, you couldn't remember the prices. <laughs> and you were going to join the Navy, Roy. You worked in the... And you were just about to join the Navy when your heart signed you. And, uh, but at that age, ladies and gentlemen, of 15, Roy lost his virginity. Now, you haven't seen this bloke for 55 years. <laughs> He's a naval seaman, now he's a rear admiral. <laughs> but 
and uh, I, I'm going to talk about Roy's football career because that's why we're all here, isn't it? Well, we're all friends and family. And what a what a career he had. He started to create. Now, now when I say the team, can you cheer if you support the team? Okay, 1961 to 66, Roy was at Heart of Midlothian. <laughs> Tough crowd, boy. <laughs> I think this one will go well. 66 to 69, Dunfermline! Yeah. Come on, the pause! 69 to 73, Coveney City! Yeah! yeah. Oh, shit. Um, Crystal Palace, Hibernian! Yeah. East Fife! Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, that was the crowd today. And they went on to manage East Fife! Hey! Neat Miller! Hey! Thanks, Roy. <laughs> and Oxford United! Oh, oh dear, Roy. I'm doing a grand job. Oh, Macker here. Now, Roy, uh, he's been blessed and he's played against Steve the world's greatest players. Sir so Stanley Matthews for Hearts against Stoke City. It is true. I did the facts. George Best for Coventry against Man United, and he played against the fantastic Pelly for Santos for Coventry City. Isn't that wonderful? So, I love taking the piss and doing it. The chat here. Oh. Hey, well, I got. <laughs> and a wheelchair. Oh dear. Now listen gentlemen, sensible heads on for two minutes please, a bit of decorum. There's a young lady who's made this night possible. And she's one of the nicest girls I've ever met. She comes down to Coventry. That's here for Jane. Come on, Jane! Where is she? Come on, Jane! Come on! Come on, Jane! Come on, Jane! Come on, Jane! Give her a round of applause. Now come Roy, let me sit in your knee now. Let me sit in your knee, I know. Cancel the Zimmer for me, all right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've been taking the piss, but this is a love match, pure and simple. Shh. This is a love match, pure and simple. She's pure, and Roy. I <laughs> know. Oh, but Roy, uh, I met Jane in one side of the street. Jane was in one side of the street, and you were on the other. Something electric passed between them. It was a co op note. For what people don't realise about Roy Barry, ladies and gentlemen, in the 70s, he was a right handsome bugger. He was. He came runner-up in the best-looking footballer in Britain competition. Peter Beardsley won it, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, where's Jason? Where's my mate Jason? Jason, now before we go any further, I want you to keep very, very quiet, and I'm deadly serious about this. We've got a special message for Roy. And this is Roy in action at the height of his career, playing against Man United at Old uh, Company City. George Best, what a player. I went to school at the same time as George Best, quarter to nine. <laughs> stuff these days, can you? This is a good bit. <laughs> you dickhead, that was not that much. <laughs> The commentary is no working. Shall I do the commentary? Yes. Right, here's the next goal. United goal. Shit again. <laughs> Alan Garling, Georgie Best, Bobby Chapman! 3 0, Man United. It wasn't that good. It wasn't a hammer at all. <laughs> now, here we go with the positive bit, ladies and gentlemen. 
You are, Roy. There you go, that's you at the end of the wall, running forward at two mile an hour. <laughs> I know. Right, here we go. United, 3 0 up. Comedy City, pass the ball. Pass it, there's another bloke. <laughs> I'm good at this, aren't I? Oh, Roy Burney! Plays a 1 2! Roy Burney! I'll tell you what, Roy, what a shot that was. Huh? I'll tell you what, you were the best centre half in the country. In the town, you were shit. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 3 1. Can't see pull it back. Chris Kaplan knocks it over. Nah. Hold on. Do you remember this game, Roy? It was a fantastic match. I was at it. Yeah. There we go. Mickey McGuire pulls it across. Bobby Graham. 3 2 for. Oh! Yeah. Well, that's about it, then we lost the episode. <laughs> but, uh, <coughs> Jason, can we not try and get the volume up just a touch for this next bit? I'll put the microphone towards it. We've got a special message coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, yeah, here we go. Put the mic. Yeah, Rosie, can you bang it up as I know, I know you don't want feedback, but here we go. Pissing cost me. <laughs> you wanted a hundred, but I knocked it down. Get it as Barry. Uh, Roy, just sit down. Or Jane, can we get another stool? Put yeah. that chair over there, Jane. Yeah. We're nearly finished. And then you get pissed now. Uh, Roy, uh, it's hard to finish this off, ladies and gentlemen, because. Um, but I will. I'm going to finish, but. Before we do so, the man that made these CDs of Roy's career, and I've got a real This Is Your Life book, all your career is in this book. I'm not joking. Going back to your hearts, to Infirmland, all photographs, because Roy's lost a lot of his memorabilia, and it's all, it's all in this book. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> but we've got a, a very special surprise for you, Roy. Your two boys are here, flown, they flew up from London this morning, wasn't that wonderful? What a surprise this man was gobsmacked this morning. Give him a round of applause. Put your hands together for Alex and Matt. Come up here. Hold on a second. Sit here. Sit where you are. Sit where you are. Come here, Ryan. Come here, boys. Come here. Let me just take you over here. Sit yourself down, Roy. You think these people can do surprises? <laughs> just look that up. Ladies and gentlemen, we saw the Scottish Cup a bit earlier. In 1987, Company City won the FA Cup. Can you please put your hands together and welcome the FA Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, Roy Barry, footballer, good friend of Billy Bell, this is your life. <laughs> 